Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we're going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently? And in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Cobra Kai Multiverse? Season 2 Part 5 So in this timeline, many portals would open up, and lots of variants would walk through. Master Kim Sung Young would welcome everyone to his universe. He would say that joining his dojang was something they had to earn. So he was going to get them to fight each other, to see how they stacked up, and that the top 6 students were going to be selected for something more. Another portal would begin to open, and Kreese would walk through. Kreese would be happy to see Master Kim Sung Young, and Sensei Kim Da Eun. He would explain how in his universe, Mr. Miyagi took over his Cobra Kai, but now that Mr. Miyagi was defeated, Cobra Kai could be brought back under the leadership of Master Kim Sung Young. So Kreese would become another Sensei at Master Kim's dojo, and Sensei Kim Da Eun would be happy to see Kreese. Jack would approach Master Kim, he would say that he was the best student in his universe, and that he was made a sensei, but Master Kim would laugh at Jack, he would tell Jack he wasn't a sensei here, and that here he was a student, and he would tell Jack to get in line to fight the other students, Jack would get mad, so Jack would want to prove himself, and he would start fighting some of the other students, and he would fight some of the Cobra Kai variants, a uh, Cobra Kai Miguel would fight Jack, but Jack would use his offense and speed to his advantage, and he would take Miguel down. Cobra Kai Sam and Cobra Kai Tori would team up against Jack, and they would use a combination of Cobra Kai and Miyoido, but Jack would know how to defend himself against Miyoido, and he would fight back. Some of the Hawk variants would team up against Jack, but Jack would fight back, and he would show no mercy, and he would take down most of the variants. Master Kim would be impressed, and he would want Chang and his best students to fight Jack, and he would explain the significance of the Kumbaji patch, and he would want Jack to try to take it from Chang, by any means necessary. So Jack would start fighting Master Kim's students, they would be using offense, and no honor and no mercy. So Master Kim's students would surround Jack, but Jack would fight back, and he would start to take some of them down. Jack would be more aggressive, and he would take down most of Master Kim's students. Chang would be the only one left. Chang would use his aggression against Jack, and he would use a combination of Kung Fu and Tang Sudo, but Jack would start using defense, and he would fight back, and he would land some hits on Chang. Chang would be caught off guard. Jack and Chang would start to do a couple flips, and Jack would push Chang back. Chang would rush in against Jack, but this is when Jack would use a silver bullet against Chang. Chang would start to feel weak, and Jack would aim for Chang's weak points. He would be fighting with no honor, and no mercy. Eventually, Chang would be on the ground, and Jack would rip the patch from Chang's dopak, and he would knock Chang out. So Jack would defeat Chang in this timeline. Master Kim would be impressed by Jack's skills, so Jack would become the best student at Master Kim's dojang, and he would wear the Kumbaji patch. And that is where I'm going to end part 5. Thank you guys for watching. What do you think will happen next? Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.